how do we learn to string cross with clarity, with ease, and keeping a beautiful sound? I'm gonna show you how. The number one problem people have with string crossings is they don't know how to help with their wrist. And I'm gonna show you a few exercises that have helped 100% of my students find a better sound, better clarity, and more ease with string crossing, just by learning how to help with the wrist. The first exercise is just doing this, allowing your hand to rest, relax down, and then bringing the hand up. And you'll notice when the hand's down, it can help to think that we have a little mountain there with the angle, and then when the hand goes up, we have a little valley. And we're gonna pay attention to this once we add the bow. So now, violin up. And as we do this video, you can pause now, get your violin out. You can do this along with me. Now, now we go to the middle of the bow without any weight into the string. We can start maybe on the A string and let's do the same motion. So hand down and hand up. And for now we'll really exaggerate this to make sure we have this motion. So when the hand goes down we have the mountain. When the hand goes up we have the valley. And you can also try to keep the bow hair more straight uh, without changing angle as much by having the fingers a little bit more straight when the hand is down, especially the thumb. And then when you bring the, the hand up, the fingers will curl more, including the thumb. And right now we're exaggerating. We're never going to move this much when we play violin. So, so don't worry that the, the bow can't stay flat hair while we do this. This is huge exaggeration. What you want is the shoulder and elbow to the wrist. None of that moves in place. Only the hand is moving. Then the next exercise is the same, the same thing, but with your arm weight resting into the string. So now this is going to make it a little harder because the wrist has to support this weight to transfer the weight from our arm into the violin through the bow and the hand is now working a little more. The thumbs working, index fingers working and now we do the same thing, keeping our arm resting into the string. Hand down and then hand up. And if you need to pause the video or go backwards and try all this again, you can. This is the hardest step going from without the bow to with the bow and the violin. And then it's another hard step to do this with weight. And you'll notice as the hand goes down, the bow will probably rock to the A or E string. As the hand goes up, the bow will rock to the D or G string. Hand down, the bow goes to the E string. Hand up, bow goes around the G string. Now, the next exercise we're gonna do is finally gonna be with some sound. So, start middle of the bow, A string, first move this time is going to bring the hand a little bit up to make a valley. The bow rocks to the D string. And then we're going to use our arm to pull the bow and keep the position of the wrist as we pull the bow. Now hand moves down. We make the mountain. The bow rocks to the A string. Then we do an up bow. Then hand up. 
bow rocks to the D string, then we pull a down bow. And now the hand rocks down, bow moves to the A string, and we move on an up bow. So this is breaking up this series into four steps. Now we're going to move through these steps continuously. So it's going to look like this. And what I want you to do is keep your elbow and shoulder totally on the same level the whole time. We're, we're going to be exaggerating this wrist motion for now for the string crossing. So again, start on the A string, then hand up to rock the bow to the D string, and then we do all the steps continuously. Notice how you can just move your arm as if you're on one string and the wrist moving the hand, moving the hand from the wrist joint is what is changing the string. Now the next step is we can do it a little bit faster. And with this step you can do however far you want to go. You could go up to the speed of the string crossings in your piece that you're struggling with. Now the final exercise is, is very important because now we're going to fine tune just how much wrist motion we need, which will actually be way, way less. So first we start playing the D and the A string at the same time. What I just did, I started with the fifth, and then very gradually I just started adding some of that wrist motion that we just practiced. Very, very little bit at a time. And as soon as we start hearing two separate notes, clearly that's, that's where you stay. You don't move more. And uh, in the end, you'll, you'll notice that your arm can feel the same as it felt playing the fifth, as it does once you go from one string to the other. It's just a tiny bit of wrist motion that moves it from a fifth to two separate notes. And I recommend that for a little bit it's a little blurry. So you do hear the two separate notes, kind of, but it's a little blurry. And this will help you not jump to too much motion too soon. And actually in music, sometimes we want to be a little bit blended or a little bit clear depending on what we want. Or it's maybe a little exaggerated for, for blending, but we also might sometimes choose to have a little bit of uh, more clarity and sometimes a little bit more of, of a blend. And then this one we can also move faster and faster. So now we're going to do all the exercises we just did again but now the down bow is going to be on the higher string. And this is going to be a little bit harder for the body. So again, start with this. Hopefully it, it's a little bit faster to find the second time around. Then without arm weight, just bow weight. Then with arm weight, And I just saw I wasn't doing that well because I was moving my 
wrist a bit up and down. If you can with this, try to minimize that. Just keep, keep the arm where it is to, to make sure you are moving from the wrist. And then now let's start on the A string. And this is, this is going to be a little bit tricky for some people that like to put their wrist down right away on the down bow. <laughs> for that, that can help to have a very relaxed bow. But for now, we're not going to do that because we want to isolate the wrist for the string crossing for now. You'll probably end up doing a little bit of that wrist motion anyways on the down bow. So hand a little bit down A string. We do a down bow, keeping the angle of the wrist. Now we rock the hand up to make a valley. And then we play an up bow on the D string. Hand down, down bow on the A string with this mountain. Then we make the valley, hand up, up bow on the D string. Hand down. And the next step is doing this all in a continuous fashion. want to try to just have that arm move as if we're on, on one string and the wrist is what is changing the string. However, if you end up having a little bit of other motion, that might be actually what's good for your body because this motion is a little bit more awkward than when we start the down bow on the lower string. I find uh, in the end, we might have some some elbow movement and also a little bit of the wrist motion during the bow. So it's it's okay if, if this doesn't end up uh, perfectly just string crossing with the wrist. But for now, we're totally string crossing with just the wrist. And then continuous. Again, this one we can get to a faster speed. Then we can do it with the fifth. We can go faster. And then what I recommend, go to your piece where you have string crossings that are difficult. Practice just the open strings and try to feel that this arm is it just keeps pulling the sound horizontally while the wrist is helping you string cross. And that way... <laughs> That way, even if you're going across four strings, when your wrist is helping, you can feel that your arm feels just as natural as when you're on one string. And the sound also sounds just as good. Your change of bow sounds just as good. Everything is, is easy and sounds good. So good luck with this exercise. Feel free to repeat this video, repeat sections of the video till you get it. I'm sure you can get it, but you have to make sure you go one step at a time and make sure you get each step very well before you move on. Thanks for watching.